Since 1994, say fast and more, our reliable name, MixCat.com. Hey guys, Pete with MixCat. Um, I'm doing a product review, something that I personally need. This is my van. Um, I only use it maybe a couple times a week for picking up uh, big items. Um, it's the second uh, motor I put into this vehicle. Um, I actually had head gasket problems, and it's pretty common on this style van. It's a uh, Montana. I'm going to be using a K seal. This is supposed to actually be able to fix head gaskets, and it is burning a little bit of water, so I'll let you guys know how it works for me. But supposedly, you just shake it up and pour it in. My neighbor's back there having a good time, so I apologize for that. stuff you're supposed to just pour it into the radiator and it's supposed to seal uh, head gaskets, radiator, heater core, a little bit of everything. So we'll see if it works. Can't hurt, that's for sure. For uh, under $20 to be able to prolong uh, the engine's life until you can actually get to fix that, that seal. Sounds like a pretty good bargain. I look at it as sort of an insurance policy. Um, that way if I'm actually driving down the road and that um, head gasket gives up, this is supposed to be able to pretty much uh, cure in place on the spot. That way you're not stuck on the side of the road. And for 15 bucks on eBay, uh, definitely sounded like a good deal. I've seen up to like $40 for these, but they're pretty cheap on eBay. But I'm going to run this for a little bit and give you guys kind of a, um, a I guess a product review, if you will. Um, it is burning a little bit of water. I do have a little bit of murkiness in the oil. Maybe I'll be able to show you that. Yeah. This is a telltale sign that it's getting ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run it for a little bit and I'll do an oil change and we'll see if that's the case after this. All right, what I went ahead and did was clean out the, um, the top. That way I can actually see if there's more murkiness coming up. I'm going to give it just a little bit more water. Fill this up, shake it up, and put whatever residues left in it to get the maximum crunch, of course. And that's KCO. Yeah, quite a bit more came out. It's real coppery looking. It's like a copper powder. And it's supposed to not build up in any of the other parts and just go where it's needed and can be added to uh, your cooling decks. And I'm in Florida, so I'm not worried too much about the antifreeze. I do have some antifreeze in here. I'm just topping it off with some water. Alright, well, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to run it for a little bit and I'll check back with you guys and let you know the progress. Take care. Since 1994, say fast and more, our reliable name, MixCat.com.